Hello Internet! Thank you for joining me, Brian here. I'm gonna start doing a full play of Batman Arkham Origins. So, let's get started! Alright, here we go. I have already beaten this game once. It's a pretty darn good game, so I quite liked it. So the last I decided, hey, what why not? Let's do a full play in it. That is a big bat. So I've played the other Batman games. Uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Quite good. I'm very pleased that Batman has uh, found his engine that he needs for his game play. That's the Police word I'm looking for. Wish Superman would find his gameplay engine, but oh well. I guess he still needs to find out how you play a Superman game. Yeah, that's a little loud for me. Alright. So a little behind the scenes for you, this is actually my second attempt at doing a full play. I actually did uh, like six parts or so of a full play already. With New Game Plus for my previous save, as opposed to this being a brand new fresh save. But audio problems made it so that was all useless. Yay! But fixed those problems hopefully. And now we start over. Not doing a New Game Plus this time. Just regular game, because I really miss my spider sense a lot. I actually complain about it far too much about not having my spider sense. And now, time for a Kevin Conroy impersonation. Right? Is he sleek? I guess not. Uh, to be honest, I'm actually much more of a Marvel fan than a DC fan. Ian is a huge Batman fan though, so I'm inundated with Batman lately. For the past year, little while. So I, I I would like more Marvel stuff. But man, the Marvel comics are just really annoying at the moment with they're overly complex. I really hate what they're doing with Cyclops. Way too much uh, time travel in the, involved in their story. It's the stories. Just does not appeal to me. I I think Marvel needs a reboot. Looks like Black Mask entered the prison here. Oh, there's Kevin Conroy impersonation. Commissioner Loeb before it's too late. This guy does a pretty decent Batman, actually. I'm not upset about uh, his voice. Yeah, it's not the right voice. It sure would be nice if Kevin Conroy did the voice. But this guy's not bad. And the guy who does the Joker is also pretty good. Spoilers! By the way, I'm going to be dropping spoilers in this whole play because I'm assuming you're probably not here to watch the actual game. You're probably here to, you know, enjoy my ramblings while I play it. Oh, the shadow of the bat. Ah! Counter. That spider sense really is way too much fun. And that's not a nice thing to do. Now you're gonna attack me too. You just saw that guy come at me with a bat. Now you're gonna attack me as well. Don't hurt me. You don't attack the Batman. Oh. Oh. I heard the so you, I quite like the look of this Batman. I'm glad that Batman has gotten a bit more of an armored look in recent years, because it makes much more sense than rather than just wearing spandex. And he's Batman, so you can justify having super science spandex. I guess. Alright. Let's get on with this. This time I'm not going to walk around this like I do every single time I get to this room. I'm just going to go straight down. These are Black Masks men. These are Black Masks men? What well, gave you that impression? Could it be the Black Masks that they are? No guns for you, sir. Crap. Crap. I always feel badly when I let a common thug hit the Batman. Like, I'm not living up to the reputation. Bam! Oh, I have to buy unlocks in this store. Oh. I got too used to uh, my 
previous save where I have everything unlocked. So, this is not going to be fun. Well, it is going to be fun, but... Ah, I miss my abilities. Ooh, he says screw you. I can move the camera. Smart move. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. Thank you. Come again. All right. I need to find out when do I get access to the upgrade that I want the most. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, I need the upgrade. I love the upgrade where you can disassemble the weapons. I went through my entire first playthrough, not realizing I had that ability yet. I was used to Arkham City where it was an upgrade I had to buy. So I never saw it to buy, so I'm like, okay, well, I guess since this is a prequel, I guess you just don't have that ability. And then in the full play that I attempted to do, I discovered it, and I was overjoyed. Oh, this isn't going to work. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh. Damn. Got hit. Punch. Yay. I like Batman. Spider-Man's a better character. Time to waste. But yeah, I know. I know. This gate. I know. I'm familiar with the game. I hate tutorials sometimes. Especially since I'm familiar with the engine of the game. I don't need the tutorials really. I suppose I could probably turn them off, maybe? No, maybe not. Oh well. I'll live. I really like the look of that Killer Croc. Sometimes he just looks weird in fiction. Sometimes he doesn't. And that is one time where I think he looks really badass. Boosh! Alright. Up here. Oh, this is a good game, man. I quite like this game. Oh, the detective vision. I think... I understand the point of detective vision, but I think I'm not a huge fan of it, because it's too... too much. What you should... I think what they should do is they should make it so that the cowl automatically highlights people. Crap. I got punched by a guy in a suit. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're getting punched by a guy in a bat suit. Now, I think it would be better if, uh, instead of like making them all skeletal and I like highlighting stuff, but it'd be nice if it would just if the HUD would just I don't know highlight the guys in blue for me so that I I can get on with it. That area of the floor. Is yeah, I know. Blow up the floor. Drop down. Look all imposing. So, Batman's an interesting character in that basically any actor that plays Batman has to play four, basically three characters. In public, Bruce Wayne, you have to, you have to play him as the suave, flippant, uh, irrespon ir irresponsible playboy. Then in public, you have to play Batman as the thing that strikes terror and uh, the the really dark and stealthy and and just mean and, and intimidating guy you have to pull off in public for Batman. And then you have Batman in private who is who he actually is. Where it's uh, a lighter Batman or a very, well, not really even a lighter Bruce Wayne. Or a darker Bruce Wayne. Because Bruce Wayne is very much the, uh, Bruce Wayne is very much the, the mask. And that's awesome. Is that the secret identity is Bruce Wayne? Oh, Alright, I'm officially a badass. This game is very good at making you feel like a badass. Uh, now I'd go over here. Dude, come on. There we go. I really like the shortcuts for the weapons, it makes it so much easier. It allows you to use them quickly in combat, so that's nice. Okay. I don't like explosive gel. I've never liked it in any of the games. Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, nope. 
did not like it. it it's just... I, I understand the point of it, but I would much rather have an explosive battering. Even if it's an upgrade. To make it an explosive battering. There we go. It's just... I don't know. I don't like having to put the thing down and then having to detonate it. I think I just prefer throwing a battering and waiting a second or two and it, th and it blows up. And explosive batterings are incredibly common for... Uh-oh. Someone's gonna die. Calendar Man's a really stupid idea for a villain. <laughs> uh, I'm very grateful that my really only experience with him is seeing him in the cell in Arkham City, seeing him about? being busted out here, and in the end of the uh, New 52 comics, he's part of the news team for some reason. And I don't really read those, but I glance at him. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge Calendar Man fan. I think they're going to gas him. And that's not just because I've seen this three times. Why Why did Croc do that other than to make it so I can dive through the window? That, that didn't make any sense. Why did... Whatever. Yeah, I know. He's dead. Long live Commissioner Gordon. I do really like... The people's reaction of, I thought you were just a myth. Oh, I have to get to up to eight. I I really got used to uh, getting the combos up at five hits combined, or whatever it is. The combo meter up to five is when, is when I get to the special hits. I know what I'm saying. So I forgot that in a fresh game like this, it's back down to eight. Or rather, up to eight. Nope, wrong way. Right? Yeah. There we go. I kind of wish this game was a little bit more freeform. A little bit more, um... Let me decide how I want to take out enemies. If I want to be stealthy or if I want to be uh, a brute. Because I think that's... To, to me, I like Batman very much being a stealthy guy. I like Batman taking out a room full of guys without anyone knowing damaged, that he's there. I should, nope, I should have gone higher. Data back in the bat cave. Uh, so it'd be nice if I could do that with any situation. Instead of the planned rooms that they have. Where I have to take out a villain, or take out bad guys in this specific way. I really wish in this game, too, that Arkham Asylum had, not Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, had the Batman Beyond suit. And I love Batman Beyond. That, like, Terry McGinnis is, I think, one of my favorite DC characters. And so, when I found out that I could play Arkham City in the Batman Beyond suit, I did something I normally never do. I, I rushed through the story mode just to, so I can do the New Game Plus and play with the, the Bat suit. Yeah, the, the uh, Batman Beyond suit. Oh. Yeah, hit me. Come on. Ah. Bro, how to defeat him? I like that they turn the big fights into kind of a uh, um in, into like little, little mini games. Not completely mini gameish. Not God of War mini gameish. But. Still, not just a straight brawl. Ah, can I stick you out? Uh oh, oh, I don't have any health either. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. That is very fast punching. Ah, that is a lot of teeth. That is a lot of teeth in my face. Oh, forgot to evade. 
I, I should probably try to blow up those things when, when he's not holding one above his head. Owie, my face. Nope, I can't blow him up. Uh-oh. 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 Bad touch. Bad touch. Get off and get a breath mint. Get a breath mint. Woo. Alright, let's not remember. Let's remember to dodge this time. Oh, hey, those guys are all unconscious now. Come on, blow it up. There we go. That was so much easier than it was on New Game Plus. Why is my system slowing down? Whatever. Where's he going? That is a very strong, precariously placed gate. Holding Batman, who's probably wearing like 200 pounds there. And Croc, who's easily weighing 400, I'd say. And it's a precariously perched gate. And now we get to the assassins. It's... I would have liked if Croc was a more uh, used villain in this game. Because I like Croc. Then again, I also grew up with Batman the Animated Series where Killer Croc was kind of awesome. Granted, he was never more, more than a brute, but I liked him. Because I think he's basically as close to a Marvel mutant as you can get. That is a very impressive plane. Not a huge fan of the way it looks, though. Not, I don't dislike it, but it's just... I don't know. And they got the the voice actor for Harvey did or for Bullock. Right. Oh, I love that they got that guy. I heard that, and it didn't even register with me at first, that that was uh, Bullock. Rather, rather, it didn't register that it shouldn't be Bullock. I'm like, yeah, that's Bullock. Oh my god, that's Bullock! Are you back for the night, sir? Oh, uh, okay, let's level up. Do do I get to see? No, I don't. Um, yeah, let's do armor. Hey, I, I always do armor first no. because I like more health. A long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile. A human-shaped crocodile. Mask has hired assassins to kill me. Assassins, sir. As in Cutscene. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile. Man. So the voice actor for this Alfred is pretty decent. He's already behind. That's not a huge fan of the way he's portrayed. The don't. um. Let's see what else is on the, the looks of this drive. Alfred is not one of these awesome to me. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers, the best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. I think I like the concept of Penguin being a more of a mob boss than he used to be. Because he's kind of a uh, silly character, and, and turning him into a little bit of a mob boss I like. Black Mask, I know basically nothing about, but it seems weird to me that he is a mob boss. I don't know why I'm hypocritical in saying that Penguin is good, but... I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of Black Mask being just a regular, uh, just a regular criminal. And this is a great look for Deadshot. I've always thought Deadshot looked incredibly stupid, but this guy, this version of him actually looks like a, a decent sniper, or a decent military guy. And this guy, I had no idea who he was. I'm guessing he's, if he even exists in the normal DC universe, he's probably a super underused character. Lady Shiva, I didn't know anything about until basically the Beware the Batman cartoon, which unfortunately is getting Cartoon Networked and probably cancelled because nobody's, because nobody's buying the toys that aren't really being sold. They had Bane. Bane's a character that I'm, I actually don't like him being a mob boss. I, 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 Ian disagrees with me on this, but I like Bane to be the pure physical superior of Batman. Why would he I like being the Joker being the intellectual aspect and equal of Batman. And I like Bane being the physical superior. Must be so having Bane be a uh, uses torture for a mob boss, and 
isn't. I don't know, it just doesn't. What are you going to do? It, it doesn't uh, thrill me. This drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask. That's a pretty badass picture of Black Mask, though. Ooh. Sir, Scary. I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins. I love that in this game that they actually go out of their way to say, why isn't Batman just hiding for the night? They'll put innocence in danger to Bam. attract my attention. I can't take that risk. They completely justify why he isn't just hiding away. To just put yourself in their crosshairs. Yep. There's only one person in Gotham who can get it's a it's a believable excuse for me. Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. Okay, can I play the game now? Please. I like to play. You're sure this is <clears> worse, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to Come on, run. Instead, I'll keep your training facility active. I really want to know how how the developers of this game can justify him having a bat plane but not a Batmobile yet. I do like that they are definitely showing that the bat that the uh, Batmobile will be made and, and that it's going to be the Arkham Asylum Batmobile. I like that. But I don't know, it just seems like a car would be ho one of the first things he picks up. Sir, to make your travels easier, I, uh, I know. I already played the game. The I have to go to the certain areas and then travel from there. I know. Come on. Okay, I can do stuff now. Okay. Cutscene, which is lagging for some reason. It seems impractical to have a jet that you enter from below while it's hovering. It seems like it'd be a better use of fuel to um, have it be stationary until you get into it. I suppose it wouldn't be as cool looking, but... Yeah. I like aesthetics and practicality. If I see something that just seems impractical to me, I don't know why, it just bugs me. So I like in this game that this is basically everyone's first encounter with Batman. And I like stories like that where it's... Where, where people's reaction of, oh my god, you actually exist? Ah, now the stealth tutorial. I'm the goddamn Batman. I can drop smoke pellets to I know I can drop smoke pellets. Get up and have a danger. I love the smoke pellets because it uh attacking head on is a good way to get myself shot. I don't know. I, I like being able to attack with stealth, so they won't expect an attack. Making it so that I can't that they can't see me. It's a good way to do that. Let I know. I know. I know. You better not be lying. And whoosh. I love Batman's cape. I, I like. I don't know if um, Batman Begins the movie debuted the concept, but I do like the concept that Batman's cape is made from a uh, shape memory fabric, and that he can glide glide with them. It doesn't give him flight, but it gives him uh, it gives him a unique ability that I like. Okay, I will. However, I do have to ask myself the question of why can't uh, Bruce Wayne do the Iron Man thing? It seems to me that if I were a billionaire, uh, I think I'd probably go the Iron Man route rather than the Batman route. Granted, Batman is kind of awesome, but seems that Iron Man is a little bit more practical rather than spending decades to learn every tick, trick of the trade. Yes, it's definitely good to have those tricks, but it, it seems a little bit more practical and easier. I think this tower malfunction is from uh, storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out. I do love when when people remember that Batman is the world's greatest them. detective. Come on. Let me scan stuff. Because that's this is why Batman is, is the uh, one of one of the best of the, in the world. Because he's a brilliant guy in addition to 
being a strong combatant. He he's not using his just brawn like Superman does. He is he is using his brains, and, and that's what makes him Impact the, the, the biggest threat. By some kind of so the bat, the beat them. Let me try that again. The Moofies didn't do a terribly good job of uh, showing him. They hinted at him being looks like the a detective, to when but not enough for me. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired, and it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, uh, loading some prints for analysis. The cards in the grate. Let me get it. Searching now. And here we are. I like this bat suit. To one John F. Baker. After I beat the game, and because I have like a WBID thing or something, I had a couple of other costumes that I could wear. But actually, I like the, this bat suit the best. I just wish I could turn it back to the uh, pristine, undamaged one in my normal game. Like someone's tying up but oh well, I, I guess I can't. The booby trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access Come card. On. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. I know, I know it will. In fact, there it is. Thank you. Hey, what, what are you doing? Open this. I would like it if we could move faster. I think it's a little bit too takes too long to open the grates. And now we scan that. This and card is the codes I need to hack now any of the I can do this, right? Come on. There we go. The people of Gotham have the stupidest passwords. You know what makes a good password? Random numbers and characters. Not words that are obviously related to the building that you're in. But it's a video game, so I guess we have to cut him some slack. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis to Yeah, that's right. Certainly. You contact the GCPD. I think so. Come on, open the door. Thank you. He opens this door with a gusto. He's like, oh, get out of here! And just open the door. Well, well, if it isn't the king thug himself, figured it was only a matter of I love you showed up. Sorry first time Edward Nigma is meeting so Batman. Think of me is a great big mystery, one you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, I love that Enigma's whole quirk is that he just wants to prove how brilliant he is, and Batman keeps besting him. So it's like it's a constant battle of one-up and ship that Batman always wins. Just complete ego. I love it. And I actually did like how Jim Carrey portrayed. Uh, Portrayed Enigma, Riddler. What are you talking about? But then again, I'm a fan of Jim Carrey, so maybe maybe not the best portrayal of uh, of Riddler that I did like, but it was for what it was. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. The, the, those movies though are awful. I don't really want to watch them. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need so to a visit. take that how you will. I liked Jim Carrey, but I didn't like the movies. So I'm a little concerned, uh, not concerned, but disappointed that uh, they go out of their way to like show a whole bunch of people in this game, but Harvey Dent is never in this game. Spoilers. It makes me sad. Do, do, up. Done. Can I, can I do stuff now? I guess now is a good time to talk about the reuse of the map from Arkham, uh, Arkham City. I didn't want that. I'm gonna go just go ahead and get rid of that comm tower. If I can, hopefully. So, they reused this map from Arkham City. Practically verbatim. 
So I'm basically a uh, I'm I'm basically okay with it because this isn't Rocksteady. This isn't the same developers. So I already had my expectations lowered about what would be new in this game. Because whenever a developer is like basically handed the engine and the assets and say make another game, you never can really put your expectations too high for that. Because it's just not gonna ever. You're you're never gonna get a great thing out of it. And if you're wrong, then it's good news. Like Neverwinter Nights 2. I quite like Neverwinter Nights 2 more than Neverwinter Nights 1. Even though it's basically just being having the engine or not being made by the same guys, so it's not really a uh, the same game. Uh, but so so I'm okay with them reusing the map. Also, I think it's kind of a kick to see the map before the Arkham City. I guess I'll throw this basically there. And can I dive kick him? I can't. I don't have that ability unlocked yet? Okay, fine. Bam. 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 This ability definitely looks works better as spider sense than it does as Batman sense. But it still is an awesome ability to counter their attacks. And I guess it does make sense that Batman has trained himself enough to know when an attack is coming. But it definitely works better for spider sense. So the reason why I like Spider-Man more than I like Batman I suppose I should actually say that. I like Spider-Man more, li well, li more than I like Batman. Really because Batman is a he's a bit of an overpowered character in that he, he he's interesting, but he's not perfect. Where, where do I go from here? Oh, I can't get this one yet. Dagnabbit. Okay, fine. Uh, I guess I'll go try to take out this one. I need a device here that I don't have yet. Um, so anyway, Spider-Man. Ba Batman is a character who is trained and is super dedicated and is he's actually this kind of inc insane. Just insane in a, a positive way. Spider-Man is just an average guy who let one mistake haunt him for the rest of his life. I mean, Batman lets um, something happen that haunts him for the rest of his life as well, but... It's not... Spider-Man is upbeat. Actually, there, there's the, um... A guy on YouTube known as, uh, it's just some random guy who does... He started off doing Mac PC parody commercials for Marvel and DC. And then he started doing his own, um, stories with the figures that he was doing this. And there was a story that he did in there where, uh... The Joker was attempting to turn all heroes into basically Batman. Make them all dark and brooding. And for some reason it wasn't working with Spider-Man. And, and the reason why Spider-Man thinks... Um, Spider-Man comes off an explanation of why he doesn't think it's working. And it perfectly illustrates to me... A. That random guy understands Spider-Man. And B exemplifies why I like Spider-Man more than Batman. Well, part of the reason why I like him more than Batman. Spider-Man basically says that in his life, he's already had a whole bunch of tragedy. Girlfriends dying on him. His Uncle Ben being killed because of his own inaction. He already should be dark and brooding, but he's not. Because that's just not who Spider-Man is. And I'm like, yeah. That, that's not who Spider-Man is. That, that's very much right. He should be a dark and brooding character, but I like the fact that he isn't. I also love the fact that Spider-Man is just an average guy who constantly has to, to, to prove to himself that he, uh... That, that with great power comes great responsibility. He can't ever forgive that mistake, but he doesn't let it consume him. Not, not quite to the degree that uh, Batman does, anyway. I think I'm doing a horrible job explaining my, my preference for Spider-Man. 
But I also really love that Spider-Man constantly fails. He attempts to save things and he attempts to do good and he fails. It's just he, he's a very human and relatable character, Spider-Man is. Whereas Batman is slightly more fantastical. So yeah. I don't know. I like Spider Man. I also like the X Men. And I'm really upset that what they're doing with Cyclops and X Men right now. They turned them into Magneto. And just I just don't like it. Really? There's no one here? Okay. I I'm perfectly alright with no one being here. Oh, but you're... It, apparently later there's going to be this grate missing. And there'll be electricity going through it. And then I can do that. But no, you're making me do... The story missions. I miss... <laughs> I, mi I miss my previous playthrough where it was... Everything was unlocked, basically. Oh, speaking of which, I want to see if I can find out when I get my... I really want to know when I get my disable weapons thing. Oh, you're not going to show me. Ugh. Fine. Ugh. I don't think I would want to glide down head first to the ground and land that way. Alright, well that sucked. It, uh, the game froze basically. It didn't freeze my console, but it just didn't load. I jumped down here, and just black screen. So hopefully this time it won't do that. Oh, those are sharp, pointy lights. Looks like I'm the first one here. Alright, come on, grapple up to, you know, your hiding place. spot. And I should load this time, please. Yay, you loaded! It's got a black screen and then nothing. When time changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his mm, assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. There was a great uh, comment somebody made. I think it was in a, I want to say it was Superman made this comment in one of the comics that I read. That the difference between Superman and Batman is that when Superman has a room, enters a room, he wants to inspire people. When Batman enters a room, he wants to terrify them. So that's why Batman wears a mask, mask, and Spider, not Spider, and Superman doesn't. He's trying to earn their trust, and that's a great way to look at the difference between Superman and Batman. Punk in the Santa hat must be in charge, and I like that. I know. Let me play. First off, we're going to drop this, and then we're going to jump down on him. Bam, and I'm going to try to take him out before anyone else gets close to me. Nope, I guess I can take another one out. Bam, see, see if we can take another one. Nope, guess not. Oh, I missed my ability to destroy guns already. I get greedy and try to punch somebody rather than immediately try to block them. And it usually backfires and I usually get hit and annoyed and or I, or I just do it long and uh, lose my combo meter. Where are you? Where are you, punk in a Santa hat? There you are. I love that this guy keeps reappearing throughout the game. Well, only reappears once. I would like it if he reappeared multiple times throughout the game. Because just Batman constantly beating the crap out of this guy would just be funny to me. In a very sadistic kind of way. That is a strong guy to hold up a, a guy that heavy with one hand. That, that's really impressive to me. Oh, Batman. You're being all terrifying. That was actually a really awesome image of Batman being moonlit. Just eyes lighting up. 
Bad choice of words, dude. Bad choice of words. Oh, gotta take this call. Thank you. Please, stop. Stop. I'll call it. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Please. Yeah, you Too will. Late. I already have what I need. No. Ah! Not a bad voice actor. I'm okay with him. You're crazy. You're That's just mean, Batman. That's just mean. Oh, you're blocking systems. me again. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's I miss GCR having all the things unlocked. The uh, all the uh, relay stations decoded. Thus, our enigmas not blocking me anymore. <coughs> okay. Oh, I got a level up. Are you going to show me... No, that's not what I wanted. I want this. Eh, it's like right here. When do I get it? That's not what I wanted. We're gonna do a level of gun protection now. Yeah, that's basically what I do. I just walk my health getting stronger and stronger. I like more health. I'm a big fan of the uh, Superman archetype of just, yeah, you can't hurt me. I just beat the crap out of you. Oh, now there's guys over there. And now that grade's probably gone. And now I can probably disable it. But don't you think it's weird? We've never seen this guy or heard his voice. Nothing but And... Bam. That's the crazy part. Okay. Did you ever give him your bank account number? I sure as hell didn't. So how is he wiring... I've never been particularly good at a glide kick thing. But it works. Oh, and the nuts. That's gonna suck. Well, at least I don't have to deal with knives right now. For some reason, I always suck at dodging knives. I actually have not played the multiplayer for this game yet. I love the concept that there is multiplayer, and what I've read about it sounds cool, but uh, Avalon can't really play it because we don't have enough people. And what do you even so, it's something I regret that we can't play. Also, apparently, isn't particularly awesome. I want my lawyer. But speaking of the multiplayer, that reminds me of Robin, and I've got some stuff I could say about Robins. A friend of my. Uh oh. I hate the battering. I'm always horrible controlling it. No, I want to press start. Go to controls. And nope, 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 that's not what I want. Game options? Invert batarang controls. No. I'm always horrible with the batarang. I hate this thing. Uh, I mean, why apply cognitive resources okay. to a problem when you can So Robin. My friend and I have discussed Robins quite a bit because uh, this guy is a, a big Jason Todd fan. And I'm not a big Jason Todd fan, but I think I like him as I think I like him because he represents the failed, um, the failed Robin. And I love the uh, the reactions. I guess the family dynamic between Batman and the Robins. And basically, all the Robins represent something, some aspect of Batman, of Bruce. Dick very much represents Batman's, Bruce's compassion. Jason very much represents Bruce's anger. And Tim very much represents Bruce's intelligence. And I love the fact that Batman, or that Bruce, it's weird, in the last time I tried to do this, I kept calling him Bruce and was having to force myself to say Batman. Now I'm having to force myself to say Bruce. Anyway, it's, um... Uh, I love the concept that Bruce is just so mentally screwed up that he really can't tell his children that he loved them. And very much is a cha a situation where the Robins are his kids. And it's very obvious that he does think of them as his children and he loves them and you know wants to help them. But he just is so emotionally crippled that he can't. I love that. And I love how I envision... Jason's relationship with the other Robins would be. 
Jason and Dick would very much, in my mind, very much would have a adversarial relationship where Dick kind of likes Jason, but the way Jason acts towards him kind of hinders that relationship. But Jason very much sees sees himself as a failing Bruce and sees Dick as what he's supposed to be and so thus hates Dick you know in a, in a sibling sibling rivalry kind of way because he's not because Dick is what he should be or Batman is what he should be the Dick is just too perfect and Jason can't live up to Dick's perfection so Jason antagonizes and and has a uh, very antagonistic relationship with Dick. In my mind, anyway. That's how it should be written. And yet, with Tim, Jason is very much kind of the opposite, where it's... He's very protective of Tim, saying, you don't have to be me, don't try to be me, and, you know, they have a much more, a better family dynamic between the two of them. In fact, it's the idea that... Uh, Tim is what would bring Jason back into from being pissed off and being antisocial with the family. It would be Tim who would bring him back because Tim's just like, the, you're my brother, come on, stop being such a dick. And Dick wouldn't be able to do that. Only Tim would be able to do that with Jason. I just like that dynamic. It's a very, it seems like a rather actual, uh oh. It seems like a little bit more realistic family dynamic. Especially when you have to deal with uh, someone as kind of screwed up as Bruce is. I also really like the idea that Bruce is so messed up that he feels he's the only person who can be Batman. Dick cannot be Batman. But he can hold on to the title for a little bit of time. Jason obviously would never be Batman. Tim would never be Batman. Oh yeah, I suppose I should mention Damien, who I kind of don't like. I'm... I dislike him at the harshest, and in, in, am indifferent to him at the best. So his death really did nothing for me. So yeah, I, I really like the concept of the family dynamic between the Wayne family. Ooh, penguins pissed. There is no one dumber. I I really like that in this game he doesn't have that stupid uh, uh glass bottle in his face because there's no reason he would have that. I understand what they were trying to go for with it, but that's you remove that. That's not something you would keep in. Yes, Mr. Cobblepot. I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. Yes, Mr. Cobblepot, sir. All right, I think here's a pretty good time to call the first episode an end to an end. Thank you for joining me, Internet. Stay tuned for another episode where I'm going to investigate the penguin and his boat. Spoilers! Bye!